So I'm gonna start with some lifestyle goodies, which I enjoyed the previous month, and I'm going to start with music. Um, I listen to music a lot, and this album, you can see it, by Laura Marley, has, um, is a little bit older of hers, it's called I speak because I can with a nice picture of her and I like this album because I love Laura Marley to start with um, I listen to her very much, very often but the last month I listen to this almost every day um, so I wanted to show you this and tell you a little bit about her. She's from England, so I think most of the UK viewers know her. I went to her concert in Amsterdam a year ago. And it says over here, it got five stars by The Guardian, by The Times and by The Daily Telegraph. And it says, an extraordinary talent that is blossoming before our eyes and ears. And that's said by the Sunday Times. So, I had to buy it. And I can stop listening to it. It's, um, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe a bit of folk music. It's really quiet. It's not um, like loud music. It's really good if you want to hear some nice relaxing music. I would recommend you to listen to Laura and maybe discover her as well. Let me see. So that was the first thing. The second thing I wanted to show you is this. Messi in the front. And this is called FIFA 14. And probably almost everyone knows the game FIFA. Who owns a PlayStation. And also people who don't own a PlayStation. But I like it um, because I love football. Soccer. And I like video games. So I love to play this um, with my friends, my male friends mostly. I 
did this like almost every day. I really enjoy it. was actually a book and I haven't finished it yet but I wanted to, wanted to show you either way since I already fallen in love with this book and it's, an, it's a Dutch book but I know um, it's also in English since there's a movie out called Book Thief this is the book, Book Thief, or in Dutch, The Boekendief, and this is a little girl that's reading and writing and stealing books in World War II during the Hitler Jugend. And um, I've always been really fascinated. by World War One and Two, but mostly by World War Two, since it's 60 years ago, 70 years. So. And I just made it halfway. It has 565 pages and oh, there's a film being made so I think that says enough about how good the book is and I think it's a must read um, it's very good and you read fast through this book since it's so captivating it holds you um, in the book I can't do anything else when I read this I'm just Totally sucked up in the book, and um, let's say about it. I think it's just a must read, and I love reading books. I also have my own blog um, in Dutch uh, about books since I read that much, but this one is amazing. So I would highly recommend you to read The Book Thief. Um, it pleasures me a lot. Okay, so also, maybe a little weird, but I, um, I love scented candles, and I know most people don't like them, but I do like the ones that are not too. Um, how do you say it? They smell when your whole room is smelling like it. Just like the little, little scent, not too much, not overwhelming or overpowering. So, I went to Ikea. Um, Ikea is a sw Swedish uh, brand for house furniture and stuff. I think everyone knows Ikea. <laughs> um, so I bought this one. Simlich. And this is a scented candle. In glass, which smells like vanilla ice cream, and mostly I do not like vanilla scented candles, but this one is really not overwhelming at all, it's really neutral. 
unfortunately you can smell it, but you can look. Uh, yesterday and at the end of March, I think somewhere, I burned it already. And it was like a really normal smell. So, but <coughs> some other scents: mm, coconut, mint, and apple. But I thought this one was the nicest, so I wanted to try that first. Now we're moving on to beauty. So guys, I'm sorry. This one. The deodorant by Bourgeois Paris. And as you can see, it's a citrus smell. It's called Net et Froid Frais. Net et Frais. It means fresh and fruity. Fris and fruitig. Deodorant, dermatology, dermatologically tested, 24 hour deodorant. And I just bought it because I love the smell. It's really fresh. I love fresh smells. There's a plastic lid and it's just a regular spray. So that's my deodorant and it's halfway now so I've used it for a month so I think I can, it's gonna last another month. Then I'm gonna move on with my favorite perfume of the month. Um, as March was not that cold in our country, I've used a fresh smell, and that's this one. It's Chance by Chanel. Also a plastic top. And it's fresh, but it's not too fresh. It's like a sophisticated kind of fresh. Um, it makes me feel um, feminine. As well as curly. I just love it. It's, I haven't used it that much because it's very expensive, but I've used quite a, quite a bit. I love Chanel perfumes. It's 
right now I'm wearing number five, Coco Mademoiselle. Um, because I'm a big fan of Chanel, I've probably all the perfumes. <laughs> so, but this one was my favorite of the month, March. Then we have this. This is a body butter, Beurre de Corporel, and it's a small one, it's 15 milliliters, and the body butter has the smell of grapefruit, as you can see. And the reason why I use this so much is because it smells so fresh and I have pretty much dry skin on my legs. Um, I want to use this, they are not dry at all, it's really moisturized and it's such a big, a thick cream. So. As you can see, it's almost empty, well almost, I think I have 25% left. I love the smell. It's um, really strong in the pot, but when you apply it on your body, it's really soft and it smells <coughs> amazing. So, um, you can also make this yourself. So, maybe I'm going to make a tutorial video really soon to show you guys how to make a body butter yourself. It's really nice. Okay. <clears throat> and then two other things, um, beauty related. The first one is this lip gloss by Ex uh, Essence. Essence. It's called XXL Shine. XXXL Shine. I'm wearing it right now. And it's the color number four, Rising Star. It's an ultra brilliant hydrant. A non colons so ultra glossy, moisturizing, and non sticky. I love this because it feels nice on the lips. indeed not sticky at all so I usually don't wear lip glosses but I also wore this in my spa role play and I really love the way it looks so maybe I'm going to wear more of these <laughs> but I've used this um, in March a lot so the Rising Star Lip Gloss by Essence. And then the last beauty product is this one. I'm wearing it right now. As you can see. And this is a nail polish by Sally Hansen. Hard as nails. In the color 16. Glazed Sand. I love the way it shines. I don't know, I just love shiny, nude colored 
nail polishes since I work in the theater I can't use um, too bright colors on my nails so this one is perfect Um, I love the brand Sally Hansen as well, since it lasts, lasts long on my nails, I like it and I, let you, I just love the colors and the way you apply it. It has a small brush, brush as you can see, but it's, it's just fine. Perfect. So Sally Hansen Glazed Set is another one of my favorites of the month, March. <clears throat> and last but not least, I have some food. And I don't think this is going to be ASMR worthy since it's so crinkly. Um I hope. So it's called Stroop Waffles and it is a Dutch delicacy, I think. It's a cookie. And I had a vision of previous month that I was going to eat sugar free for a whole month. But every time I saw this I had to buy it. So I failed completely. But I love it. This is it. Scoop waffles. And it's like a waffle, a wafer with syrup in it. And it's Dutch. So. And it consists of um, butter, syrup, Sugar, egg, vanilla, cinnamon, and one cookie has 145 calories. I ate two already today, but okay, I'm going to eat a third for you. really crum crumbly. This, so this is basically it. What you can do. You can eat it just plain now. But you can also eat it, heat, heat it up. So you put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds and the syrup comes out. That's really nice as well. But for now I'm going to Eat it like this. So, oops. Oh my god, it's so crumbly. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. Oh, I have crumbles everywhere. <laughs> 